the Glock refers to a man named Gaston Glock, who's an Austrian engineer who, uh, in, in the early 1980s, was a man of no particular distinction. He ran a carburetor factory during the day in a suburb outside Vienna. At, on the side, he ran a business that made metal parts, curtain rods and housewares. He branched out into field knives that he made for the Austrian army. And when the Austrian army decided in 1980 to replace its World War II era pistols with a new pistol, Glock, in a very unlikely gesture, put his hand up and said, I'd like to volunteer to make that. The Austrian military literally laughed at him. The colonels and the generals said, who are you? You make field knives. What do you know about guns? And he said, well, just give me a chance. And that was his great advantage, was knowing nothing. Many great inventors have made big leaps forward in technology um, because they start with a blank sheet of paper, which is literally what Gaston Glock started with. And he asked the Austrian military for the, what it is they wanted out of uh, a, a firearm. Uh, they wanted one that was light, that fired quickly, that had large ammunition capacity, and he fulfilled all of those desires. And sure enough, he won a contract to supply 20,000 units to the Austrian army. And from there, he turned his attention to the real potential gold in the firearm business, which of course is the United States. The United States is unique in terms of uh, being a firearm market because of the number of consumers, because of the uh, lack of regulation we have, or to put it in a positive sense, the ability that exists in most parts of the country to buy as many firearms as you want to buy. Glock brought his ideas here, and after making initial inroads with police departments, which happened for quirky historical reasons to be in the market to replace their longtime uh, revolvers, um, he basically penetrated this market from afar and became a tremendous commercial success. And within a few years, as you say, had basically uh, taken his gun not just into uh, law enforcement circles, not just into the uh, civilian marketplace, but into popular cultures, such that by 1990 you had American movie stars referring to the Glock by name in major films. 